Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your gameplay for the BF109C1. This is a currently rank 1 battle rating 1.7 fighter for the German Air Forces Tactry and was just added, at least as of the recording of this video, during the Alpha Strike update. So again, just a few days ago. And this vehicle is looking real good. So this thing has four LMGs. You might be saying to yourself, well, four LMGs, that kind of sucks. Well, it is 1.7 BR and consider for for a moment that the BF 109 B1 only has two LMGs, which means that this doubles its firepower. Not only that, but it also has a more powerful engine, leading to a higher top speed and better rate of climb. And also, at least for the stat card, a better turn time, which might be a result of the better engine. So I said, let's get into a few matches, see what we could do here. This thing might be the hidden gem of the Alpha Strike update just because of how easy it is to access and it's a really, really cool piece of history being that only about 50 of the C variants were made. That said, let's get into it. Okay, we are on the tail of our first victim, the D-373 and <laughs> already have a kill. Okay, we got his pilot knocked out. Don't really want to stay and fight in a head-on versus that P400. Not really my thing, but we can turn down for what? Put those flaps on. Flaps on this thing actually work out really, really well. As long as I can get myself a tag, I am fine with that. And we have ourselves a kill. Not too bad for a real quick start. We have a Fury Mark I trying to bear down. Got a severe damage, and his engine just... Uh, completely damaged it looks like so i'm gonna go for this bf2c now when it or the sb2u now when it comes down to this aircraft a few things that you want to know uh roll rate's not that great it does have increased horsepower over the earlier b variant which is actually really nice you know genuinely that is a very very nice thing that i feel like a lot of people will enjoy and you also of course get the two extra guns on the wings which is just fantastic in my opinion so we are trying to to knock this guy out of the sky i'm doing a really ugly job of it not too big of a deal he is still flying uh so i'm just gonna tag him a little bit and we have the aircraft finished off that's fine by me i really don't care in a way like yeah you know i try to stay away from taking kills especially at this br my big thing is that when you have somebody who's still actively maneuvering like that, it's a little bit difficult to just say, eh, I'll let him go by, because he could just as easily turn on you and kill you. So we have this V-156. He hit me, but did no real damage. Gonna turn down here, see if we can get ourselves another assist. Again, those flaps actually work out to a very, very well, uh, good speed. But thus far, we have what, two three kills i guess not too bad and two assists so overall how do i feel about this vehicle thus far pretty damn good you know i mean like when it comes to the bf 109a which i personally love just because it's such a cool historical piece and then you of course have the bf 109b it's like okay those are cool but the problems with those vehicles like they're just so lightly armed of course that person had to fly into the ground but they are just so incredibly lightly armed. And so even though this is also lightly armed, I mean, you only get two extra LMGs in the wings, right? You still get two times the LMGs. Now, you don't get two times the ammo. The wing-mounted LMGs do have a little bit less ammo than the top, or than the nose-mounted, but it's not too bad. So that said, I'm assuming this match is over. I don't think I'm going to be able to actually get up to that altitude to fight that guy, so... Let's get into the next match and have ourselves a good time. I'll tell you guys what, this thing is in up tiers all the damn time. I'm going to probably dive down on this guy because he is about to attack my buddy. I was going to wait for that P-36 over there, but this is a good enough time. Now, you want to throttle down in a situation like this. I mean, even though the C-1 is a faster variant, it's still not made to go all that fast. So, I'm going to start firing in 3, 2, 1. And we have ourselves our first hits. Crit and should get a kill right there. Very nice. It's exactly what I was hoping. Now, when it comes to BF-109s, you really have to remember, these things are great at boom and zoom. So many German aircraft are. And the thing with this is that being that it has 
Again, a little bit more horsepower. I mean, it's not like a ton more horsepower. I think it's like, I don't know, maybe like 40, 50 more horsepower. It does still add up to being able to climb better, being able to, you know, dive better a little bit in a way. Even though it does also have a lighter engine, mind you. So, you can get up to higher altitudes more easily with this, which is definitely very nice, less aiding in the boom and zoom. So, I'm going to probably go for this P36. Okay, and that is exactly what you do not want to do. You do not want to stall your plane, which I'm actually about to do, mind you, but I'm doing it in order to try to get this guy. Got myself a nice hit and a crit on him. He's going to start firing. He's going to miss most of his shots. Good on him. But I should be able to turn, put those flaps on. Flaps on this thing are pretty good out to a pretty decent distance, and we have ourselves a nice kill. So in the... You know, while trying to tell you guys not to uh, to stall out your plane, I stalled out my plane. So try, do what I say, not not as I do. So it appears as though we are in a down tier here. Now, again, you do not want to fly at tree level the entire time, unless you're in like a top tier jet and you have to worry about BVR. You know, that's just, eh, not a good idea to be flying at tree level because you don't really gain much speed and you lose any opportunity to pretty much do what I'm doing and that's control the altitude. So, I'm gonna dive down on this guy, then probably dive down on Boreal Biscuit and then hopefully get ourselves a few kills. It was a little bit ugly there, but such is life. We have ourselves our first kill. Now here's Boreal Biscuit. Okay, I did not snag that kill, but that's not too big of a deal. Because I'm going to be able to get away from him. Go for this Reese's Puffs, man. Which, by the way, if you guys... Reese's Puff, Boreal Biscuit, and all that. My apologies. You know, I'm not out here, like, targeting you guys because of your names or anything. Rather, it's just an easy identifier. But as you can see, I mean, actually, this is a really good example. I'm hitting 461. I mean, yeah, albeit with Weapon. But I'm hitting those uh, speeds very easily. Ooh, I'm way over firing that guy. Which is um, not something that I'd be able to do with the B or A series, especially not the A. So we have ourselves a kill there. I'm going to turn back around. Again, flaps on this thing do work very, very well up to relatively high speeds. But, eh, you know, high speeds are what you make of them. So this guy is not head-oning. I'm actually really surprised. We have ourselves, I'm assuming, a third kill. Let's go put these flaps on. They work beyond 300 kilometers per hour. I'm not sure if the stats are out there yet kind of indicating exactly how far they work, but uh, thus far they have served me well. But I'll tell you guys, I mean, for a 1.7 BR aircraft, this plane is really, really good. Now, bear in mind, I am playing a lot of low-level players. My apologies for that. I mean, that's just kind of what you have to do when you're playing a low-level vehicle. You don't have the option to play high-level players, but what I can tell you is this. I have gameplay on both the uh, BF-109A and also the B-1. And this vehicle easily, easily outdoes both of those. And yes, I know it's a higher BR vehicle, but here's the thing. It's not much higher BR. And I think it was like the BF-109E-1 or the E-3 where I kind of said, like, cause I, I think I released gameplay of one of those somewhat recently, where I said I would rather have LMGs than the um, MGFF cannons. Because the LMGs don't run out of ammo all that quickly. And the MGFF, they, well, you know, they, they just don't do all that much damage compared to other 20s. And here you go. I mean, yeah, I'm fighting low BR aircraft, but this is proof, you know. In some ways, having LMGs is not a bad thing. That said, I'm assuming this match is pretty much over, so let's just get into another one. I'm not going to make this gameplay all too much longer, but uh, it's been the, pretty fun thus far. Okay, we have ourselves another person who feels that it is worthwhile to try to jump up last second rather than climb at a uh, steady pace throughout the beginning of the match, and thus you will be pilot sniped or severely damaged. That works too. So now we have this P400 again who cannot climb. Again, let this be a warning to you guys. Keep up your altitude early in a match. Get to altitude at least when you're in a prop plane. Because otherwise you're going to end up like Nicole Chad or whoever I just killed back there. 
It happens. It happens. Again, I'm not, like, out here saying, like, oh, you know, oh, uh, these guys suck. Because they don't, you know? I mean, it's just... It's the difference between me being a level 100 and them not. And the thing is... When you're level 100, you get all this knowledge pretty much from playing the game. If you just look it up or listen to me, you'll do okay. And, of course, you also don't want to do head-ons, really. But I can be an idiot every now and again. I like doing head-ons. I don't care what people say. Oh, that was interesting. But I should be able to get on his tail. Let's put those flaps on. And they are working up to around 370 kilometers. That's pretty impressive, actually. Did a little bit more damage. Now, the thing is, with these LMGs, one of the big problems with them is that unless you're pilot sniping or getting some sort of a hit on their engine or something, it's very difficult to get a kill. So, like, just doing or, like, damaging a plane. So, in order to do substantial damage to a plane, you pretty much have to aim, like, center of mass. These aren't going to rip wings. These aren't going to, you know, do a lot of damage beyond pilot sniping, which is really probably what you're going to want to aim for with these. And yes, I know I'm doing exactly what I just said not to do, but this is kind of the, uh, wow, this guy is still, oh, wow, okay. But, of course, the thing is, I was already at the low altitude after fighting other people from my high altitude to the low altitude. So I said, let's get into a quick A-B match. I like to do those a lot of the time. I know I'm, like, playing this a lot, but to be honest with you guys... I am genuinely surprised by how much I'm enjoying this thing. Three, like, three kills, two, two ground kills and assist? This thing's a hell of a lot of fun. Now, interestingly, and probably not surprisingly, this does see a slight BR increase to 2.0 when playing AB. So if you are a fan of AB, uh, it won't be quite as low of a BR. But that being said, when it comes to this aircraft, again, I'm genuinely surprised. Like, I'm very happy that they added this into the game. This, it's weird, but every now and again, a low BR vehicle, whether it's an aircraft or tank, and I guess it could happen if it's a ship as well, they really improve the game in a weird way. And this might be that plane, because the German Air Tech Tree, even though it didn't need this, it certainly doesn't not need it, and it's better off with it in-game. And so I really actually genuinely genuinely like this thing if you're a big fan of bf 109s i would 100 percent recommend that you pick this thing up and fly it like it is it's easy to get into it's only 4,000 rp to grind which is what i did bear in mind i like this isn't a test drive i actually grinded this thing out i did all of that because i really wanted to you know i wanted to fly this thing from essentially from stock to spaded and just test it out like that and it's just been such a, a fun plane you know, it's just... Ugh. Like, look at that. I know that Hurricanes aren't the most powerful or the most maneuverable aircraft, but, like, this thing can whip around, especially if you want to play AB. Like, holy guacamole. Now, I really shouldn't be diving at this fast of a speed, but we'll see what we can do. I don't feel like having my buddy die there. So that guy is critically damaged. He is on fire. I'm going to... You know, I'm going to dive back down for him, see if we can kill him here. If not, you know, it is what it is. However well I do in this match, that's what's going to go on. I don't care if I get another kill. I don't care if I get, like, five more kills. Whatever you guys see is whatever you guys see. So, with that said, uh, yeah, I mean, just definitely go ahead and grind this thing out. It is a ton of fun. Like, it... Yeah. There's not really a lot of ways I could describe it as, you know, other than, like... If you play low BR uh, battles, this is everything that's good about low BR. You know, it's basically a slightly better variant of a vehicle that was already pretty decent. But this is better in the ways that it needed to be better. The main way that the B1 sucked, right, the BF-109 B1 sucked, was that it only had two LMGs. Now, we have four LMGs, and they're spread out uh, some around the uh, oh wow we also have leading edge slats i didn't realize that but these lmgs are now on the wings which you know i mean some people would prefer them all to be uh, mounted center line but hey it gives you a wider range of fire so really can't go wrong with that i mean ah there's just so much praise i could heap to this thing 
Um, but, I mean, of course, the, uh, the LMG mags aren't all that great, like the, um, the, whatchamacallits, the belts that you can put on them. They aren't really fantastic. Uh, they're not like American, like, later MG belts. That would be awesome. But, hey, you know what? Stealth for AB isn't bad. And, uh, of course, overall, I think I was using Universal for RB. So let's go ahead, turn on this guy. And see if... Oh, we have ourselves some severe damage. And put them combat flaps on. He is out turning me a touch. But we have ourselves the pilot snipe. Not too bad. Let's go see if we can go finish off some of these guys. I think I, I primarily damaged that guy a lot. We have this I-16. And I'm gonna die, but I had myself five kills, one assist, and an extra... Severe damage, I guess, would be the way to put it. So, as I said, thanks so much for watching. If you guys don't mind, actually, six kills, not too bad. If you guys don't mind, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. If I were you guys, I mean, just take a break from the grind. Play planes like the BF109C1. That thing is a hoot. You know, it's just got a little bit more power and a little bit more armament than this plane right here. And I really can't recommend it enough. Just put down the grind. Have yourself a good time. Thanks so much, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.